Hey guys, welcome to another week of how-to video. Today I will be showing you the Kodak Duoflex 4 camera. And as you can tell, it looks a little different from my other cameras. And that's due to the fact that it looks like it has a double lens, which is called a twin lens. And it was manufactured in 1955, and around that time it cost about $24. And in today's world, that would cost about $213. It uses Kodak 620 film, which I have here, and it either comes in black and white or color. I'll leave them listed in the description box below. And it also comes with two officially listed flash accessories, which are here and here. And we'll get to those at the end of the video. So let's get to the different parts of the camera. On the front we have the lens and we have the viewfinder. Located on the top we have the other part of the viewfinder. You just look straight down and what you see is entering through the top viewfinder. Turning the camera on its side we have the film advance winding knob, the shutter button, and the double exposure or reset lever. On the back, we have the tab which opens the back of the camera and exposes the film, and we have the red window. On the opposite side of the camera, we have the flash attachment and the switch for instant or long exposure. And lastly, located on the bottom of the camera is the standard tripod mount. Now when loading the film, there's usually already an empty spool. If it's not already, move to the top position. Secure the new film, break the seal, pull across and thread through the long slot on the empty spool. To tighten the film, twist the advancing knob about two to three times, then close the back. Now looking through the red window, twist the knob until you see arrows and continue slowly until you see a pair of ones. Now your camera is ready. On either side of the shutter are two small windows. When both are black, the camera is ready to take a photograph. When one of the windows is red, the shutter is locked to prevent a double exposure. Therefore, the winding knob needs to be turned until both windows are black. Now to create a double exposure after the shutter has already been released, press the reset lever and it changes the red window back to black and you're ready to create the double exposure. Looking at the flashes here, we have the Coda light, Kodak Midget, and the Kodak Supermite Flash. Each flash has its own guide or chart on the flash itself. That's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching, if you have any questions leave a comment down below, if you liked it give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more hit subscribe. See you guys next time.